Hello and welcome to South Coast Lessons. My name is Jeff Angeli. I'm the founder and director of South Coast Lessons. And we're located right here in New Bedford in Hatch Street Studios, 88 Hatch Street. And we're in room 216 in the building. Uh, as you might have guessed from the name of the organization, we give lessons. And in particular, you can see from this wonderful mural that's up here in our room behind me, we give music lessons. Uh, and we have music lessons on a whole bunch of different instruments and a bunch of different styles, but that's not all we do. So I would love to take the time to introduce you to our work, including the lessons, but also including a lot of wonderful cultural programming that we've been able to put on. Um, with the help of New Bedford Creative and the city of New Bedford, and the Cultural Council, we've been able to expand the community program that we were already doing. And now we have everything from regular monthly gatherings of musicians to a couple of big festivals every year that we put on, to uh, open mics, to silent movie nights that are set to live music, um, opportunities for musicians to collaborate uh, on songwriting projects, and just a whole bunch of other things, but this is the place. This is the this is the place where uh, a lot of my individual student teaching happens, kind of like right here, almost like so that I could kind of stick my head up into this hat on the octopus there. That's about where I'm. That's about where I'm at. So, um, that's my introduction. Instruments. We have instruments. We have lots and lots of instruments. We have. Violins in various sizes, half sizes, quarter sizes, full sizes, three quarter sizes, all kinds of instruments here. Uh, there's a painter. This is the original painter. This was a this one was a gift from my friend Chen some years ago before I was even in Hatch. That's such a cool instrument. It's kind of where it all began with the painted instruments. Uh, these instruments as well as some of the painted instruments are a lot of them donations from Symphony Music Shop in Dartmouth and some of them from my friend Valerie's shop in Westford up near Lowell uh, who donated instruments that were past the point of being able to be rented by their organization so that I could offer classes for free through grant programming to students in both public school settings and adults and children who are interested in taking classes that maybe don't have the same means or just happen to be interested in public programming that I've been able to offer, like my beginning ukulele classes that have been in town parks. South Coast Lessons uh, received grant funding in 2019 and 2020 through New Bedford Creative's Wicked Cool Places grant. And that has made it possible for this gigantic row of ukuleles to come out with me in public and teach people how to play their first handful of chords and have a whole lot of fun in Wings Court. Um, and those exact same kind of programs are planned for this year. They're just, uh, they're going to be virtual. You can see here hanging on the walls from some of the images that you saw in clips of people decorating instruments. Uh, these are instruments that have been painted by people who came to our festivals, our free community festivals, to paint instruments and listen to music and dance and just generally hang around with a great community of folks. And then these instruments get hung up on the wall some of these here are pretty elaborate, right? Uh, but you can see over here, if we kind of go across the room, going through our, uh, this is our semi-organized at the moment stage space area. You can see we're coming up on our stage and then just a bunch more painted instruments. So these are uh, ones that haven't been hung yet. Might even end up being ones that get repainted uh, that are from those same events. And I mentioned it before, this is the place where it happens. This is our stage space here um, where we host our open mics and our recitals and a big piece of our festivals. 
We have PA speakers and seating for all kinds of folks. And lots and lots and lots and lots of fun events that happen right here in this space that wouldn't be possible without the kind of wonderful large mill space that we're able to get here in New Bedford at Hatch Street. And this is not part of our room, not directly part of the Hatch Street uh, studio space that belongs to South Coast Lessons, or rather is rented by South Coast Lessons. This is the common space, the big gallery space that's down the end of the hall. There's some interesting lighting in here right now. I'm kind of liking it. I know that it's a little dim, but uh, you can see it's kind of a magical space. And we've got some wonderful art installation stuff up right now, and this has been here for quite a while. And these halls are home to our biggest events. So we're surrounded by all of this amazing installation art coming from these trees and the flowers and that kind of thing. And then we've got this huge dance hall space where we can put bands and people dancing and put drop cloths down on the floor, have people painting instruments, and have people doing henna, and have people here doing uh, other kind of bending things and activities for kids and adults. And we're able to space up with the other end of the hallway as well and host multiple jams at the same time. So such a amazing opportunity these spaces provide us. These mill spaces and Hatch Street in particular. I'm gonna point you towards the poster here to talk about this, but Old Time Fiddle Session is kind of uh, part of South Coast Lessons in a way, and in another way it's really part of its own thing. It is its own organization, but it is under our umbrella. Um, Old Time Fiddle Session is a gathering of string band musicians, traditional string band musicians, uh, who gather in public places, play traditional music, flat foot dancing, and then just generally what kind of a jam looks like for us. Our jams are oftentimes uh, held at um, Brick Pizza in New Bedford when Wings Court is open in the summertime we have them outdoors and when Wings Court is not open or when the weather is inclement uh, we oftentimes still partner with Brick, but just go to the Brick Fair Haven that has a little bit more space. In the last uh, few months, we've been running it more often, believe it or not, since late February when everything started to close down. We started running an Old Time Fiddle Session every two weeks, purely in Zoom. All Old Time Fiddle Session meetings are free. They're just gatherings of musicians and people who like the music. And the meetings that are taking place in Zoom are also free. It's just people kind of getting together virtually and still having that connection to community and to music that we're all missing so very badly. So like I mentioned before, one of the things that we do is obviously teaching music lessons. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention all of the wonderful things that we can offer people in their journey learning music. Uh, we have individual lessons um, through a number of different teachers uh, and in 2020 here where the world's a bit different than a lot of us would like for it to be obviously uh, we've been able to transition our lessons to being available in digital format so zoom lessons and uh, Skype lessons and other online platforms and in those media we have lessons available on guitar, piano, violin slash fiddle, mandolin, ukulele, trumpet, saxophone, I think I mentioned piano already, voice uh, obviously, bass guitar and also upright bass, string bass, banjo, and there's got to be something that I'm leaving out. We have a wonderful staff of teachers uh, I have myself on staff teaching and then also, uh, and I will call them all my good friends because they are, they're all wonderful people and I love working with them. My good friend Christian, who teaches guitar and piano here, uh, and my good friend Juliana Bernardi, who's a, a 
the muralist that we were standing under the mural of earlier on in the video, who also teaches guitar and voice and bass and fiddle and and also uh, my friend Samantha Babineau, who is a wonderful voice teacher and ukulele teacher and fiddle player as well. And Dante Cusolito, who's been here with us uh, for the last few years um, teaching and for many, many years before that as a student who's got uh, guitar and ukulele and bass students. And also um, we have uh, another friend of mine coming on who's in a similar situation as Steve, who was a student here for many, many years as a really, really good musician, really dedicated to uh, his practice and has become a teacher in his own right. Um, and that is uh, my friend Stephen Broom, who's a wonderful guitar teacher and saxophone teacher as well. So um, we have a full slate of individual lessons just always available. Right now we're running lessons digitally and in some cases, though not all, in some places, cases we're able to offer socially distanced, open air, uh, in-person lessons. And then um, we run group lessons in semesters too. And group lessons are a really great way for people to learn how to play an instrument that, in a setting that's, first of all, more social, and second of all, um, it is more affordable uh, by a long shot because basically the group defrays the cost for everybody. So group lessons cost about half as much and they run twice as long. Uh, they don't go into the same kind of one-on-one -on -one detail that you would get in an individual lesson. There's a place for both, right? But the, uh, the group lessons do, they do something different, you know? They, they provide a, an atmosphere where people get to know each other and uh, play with one another in a way that you don't get to an individual lesson. And an individual lesson gets you uh, an expert who is able to sit with you and go, oh, this is like, this is the specific spot where we can bring your plane forward or take you to the next place and, and really kind of get pinpoint on the details that are best suited to you. 